Hello, Shake Tutorial here. Um, recently bought the uh, Apple Training Series book. Um, been reading through that, getting quite far through that. And basically, I wanted to share some of the stuff I'm learning with you. Um, but not the advanced stuff just yet. I'm actually just going to go over the basics for now. Um, and we're going to start off talking about the user interface and then about basic compositing. Um, so first of all, user interface. Um, by default, Shake is in this uh, four panel workspace environment. You've got your tools panel, your parameters, your node workspace, and your viewer. So, in the node view, well, first of all, what are nodes? Well, basically, everything you do in Shake is a node. Um, so your footage is a node. If you wanted to increase the brightness of your footage, then you'd have a brightness node. If you wanted to move your footage, you'd have a um, move node, etc., um, etc. Et and these nodes are divided into different categories. They're all in these different tabs across here. You've got your image, color, filter, key, layer, transform, warp, and other. And then I've got some additional sections, which you may also have. Well, you won't have, but if you watch my other tutorial, on installing Shake plugins, then you will know how to do it. Parameters, basically, um, I'm going to use my example of a brightness node again. Um, say we had our brightness node, then we can increase and decrease the brightness using different parameters in here. If there's additional parameters, then it will be in parameters too. And globals is the um, settings for your entire project. Node view is where all the nodes are displayed. They're displayed like, um, they're called a node tree, because basically you have a footage and you basically each node is connected um, by an arrow. You've got your curve editor um, which is for animation basically so if you wanted to fade brightness out I don't know why I keep on using brightness but I'm going to um, say you wanted to fade brightness out over the time then you might get a line that goes like wee down like that and that would represent the brightness and then you can play around with that curve. Color picker, pretty self-explanatory. You can use that for various tools, which I'll explain in future tutorials. Um, console, if you're a bit of a terminal guy, then you like this. And if you've never used terminal, you don't know what it is, and you're thinking, I'm not even at an airport, then never look at this window again. Audio panel. Now, Shake can do some basic audio um, control. Um, you can line up some audio, however I wouldn't recommend it, um, it's not really an audio editor as I'm sure you can imagine, it's built for visual effects, it was used for visual effects in Lord of the Rings, King Kong, lots of other really effects heavy films. However, say you're creating a gun flare, uh, then you might want to throw in a gun sound just to give you something to work by and your pixel analyzer which will also go over because I can't show you here because we don't have any footage. Um, now these buttons will go over in time. Um, first of all I just wanted to tell you about actually getting footage into your project. So you want what you want to do. There's two ways to do it. I prefer my way of doing it um, just because I like to stick to my old ways. However, how you do it um, just only using shake and not exiting the program is you go over to the image tab in your tools panel and you select a file in node. Now if you don't know what each node is um, then there's a little help section here even, even the help section tells you what the help section does and this is the info line it gives you a short help message on what you're currently pointing at. So if we hover over the file in node, you can see it now says create node file in. And that's what we want to do. We want to create a file in node. Choose that. And it will now, you know, say, where do you want to go? And navigate to your footage. I've got an image sequence. Um, now it's automatically chosen the entire image sequence. Like there's actually 65 pictures. Um, but it's it shows it as a sequence which is what we want press OK or next if you want to load in multiple file ins press OK and as you can see we've now got a node which is an image and in our viewer we can now see it 
Now, if you want to scrub through it, then as you can see down here, we've got a timeline and we can just scrub through like that. But it only lasts 65 frames and our whole, whole project lasts 100. Um, if you want to change the maximum amount of frames, that's what this um, number is here for. Just select that and change that to 65. Press enter and now it's only 65 frames long. Now, my way of getting footage in, so I'm just going to select this node and hit delete. My way of getting footage in is I like to use Finder and I like to I just like to browse through Finder because I quite like it. And we can select all frames and it'll do the same thing as we did. Um, click on the left hand side of the footage and it loads into the viewer. If you click on the right hand side of the footage it loads up its parameters. Just a cool bit of information. In the parameters of a file in node it will tell you uh, where it comes from and stuff like that. It tells you its last frame as well. Um, you can hit the spacebar on any workspace panel. For instance if I hit the spacebar over the viewer then it makes it full screen. If I hit it over the uh, tools panel it makes it go full screen. And obviously it's the same with the others. And it's very handy for the node view because sometimes you can get some really big node trees. Um, if you want to move around in a panel, you middle. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. I have a rough idea. Um, but that's not good. Um, middle click and then you can drag around. Um, I would love to show you what I mean, but unfortunately my I, I know what's happened to my mouse and I'll sort that out for the next tutorial. So now we've got a file in though. And let's say that all we wanted to do to it was let's 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 be kind to our brightness node that we keep on mentioning. I've got my file node selected, I'm gonna hit the brightness and it automatically, like I mentioned earlier, links it. And let's say we wanted to export this footage. Then we go back to our image tabs and we choose a file out node. Um, let's say we wanted to send it to the desktop. Press OK. Change the file name to shark. Um, right hand side of the brightness node. And then we can, like I said, change the brightness like that and then what we can do is that say we wanted to preview it before we export it we go render, render flipbook just press render then it will quite quickly create a nice little wow. flipbook um, however it can obviously take a long time to render got to tell it that we go, we're going to go one fr from frame one, then we hit the dash button, whatever it's called, to frame 65, and press render. And you see it's going to go through, render all frames, and then we've got a nice little preview here. Brilliant. And then we can render file out nodes from range 1 to 65 render it's going to give us a nice preview and then if we go to my desktop you can now see that we've got a file out node what you want to make sure you do is that go into the parameters of your file out node and make sure you will change it to an appropriate file type I want to change it to a Quick time. No audio. Codec options. Change it to best quality. H.264. Okay. And then when we render, file out. Quality. High. Render. And now we're going to actually get a MOV file. Go back to the desktop. 
and beautiful. So that's some basics on how Shake works. Um, next lesson we're going to actually take a look at some basic compositing. We're also going to take a look at some of these buttons and try and understand how Shake works. But this is just a brief introduction that I hope you like. So thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you soon and check out the rest of this playlist.